Welcome back to Boss Guys Reviews. This review, we're going to be taking Star Wars The Vintage Collection from the Book of Boba Fett, The Tusken Warrior. This is a pretty cool 118 scale action figure. Here's the artwork on one side and the bubble on the other. You see the figure and the accessories. Looks pretty cool. Got the Kenner logo there at the bottom. Very interesting to get some new colors in our uh, Tusken Raiders instead of just a tan and brown palette. That is the card back you get. For you color collectors, this is VC279. There's the cross sale, the vintage logo, and the half of the card is pretty much garbage, except for UPC. So I'll show you here in a second, so you can copy it down. Okay, this is a Wayne Teen Scott Action figure, recommended for ages at least four and above. If you have little collectors, make sure to be careful because they have small parts not for children on the age of three and we don't happen to our little collectors they are our future for the for the hobby basically so let's go ahead and get him out of the packaging and take a look at him all right here's here's our tuscan raider outside the packaging um pretty nice so we have the tuscan raider head we're used to seeing with the uh silver round goggles and the mouth respirator then we have this black cloak over the top some silver studs on the top, very nice skull thing. We have like these very soft, like plastic vinyl straps that are you know, individual on the front hanging down. There's two on this side, and then we have some on the back, which is pretty cool. Look at this. I did not expect this. All right, check that out. That's really nice. For, I'm surprised we got that kind of uh, attention to detail all through there. It looks like I kind of like dredged from a, a predator, maybe. But interesting. And then underneath we have that black sculpted um, shoulder um, piece of material. And then we have the black outfit. We have the brown belt. And then down the front we have this very soft vinyl um, sash type brown on the inside very nice detail on the outside and what's very nice we do get some soft goods that's fantastic very cool arms are just done in the black wraps black gloves we do have the brown tusker raider boots um what's under here is just a black pair of pants let's take a look at those joints that's what kind of legs we're getting Oh yeah, that's the good legs. So that's just a, very nice to see that. This seems to be a decent figure. How about that, guys? Awesome. Well, let's take a look at the articulation. Now it's going to be kind of hindered because you have um, this piece here is like all one shoulder piece with this black here and that red in the center. It's like a resistor. <laughs> um, head. Rotates 360 all the way around. Very freely. Have these side to side, back and forth. Arms can raise up. Well, there's actually sl slits on the side here, so your arms can go through that. So you can see that or not. It's pretty cool. Have about that far. It's not bad. You can get T-pose out of that. Very nice. Bendable elbows. Obviously single jointed. 90 degrees. This hand rotates 360, and we have the in and out on this hand, and on this one, we have the same joint, the in and out. And chest articulation, nope, no chest articulation. We do have a waist swivel, 360, maybe a little side to side because this is what we're doing. Like so for the legs, we do have this really nice set of hips that are the better version for the star figures in my opinion at least see there and then you get a double not a double i'm sorry a single jointed knee which is uh kind of that far since i'm here the foot does pivot down up and around the ankle basically gets your 360 so you can get that side to side also because of that design um this leg does not seem wants to raise for some reason. Get a pretty good split. 
for Tuscan Raider. Sitting, getting some resistance there. Oh, and it has that kind of, they get this kind of spin the legs. Yeah, it's, it's more fuller at least. So, so sitting wouldn't be, isn't too bad. Pretty nice range of motion for what you're used to seeing in a pass for uh, vintage figures. Let's go ahead and get our Tuscan Raider cleaned up. Let's take a look at him. So it's kind of a 360 uh, look. Pretty nice. Close up. I like how they have those individual straps hanging down. That's very cool. Do appreciate that. And the soft goods. A nice detailing. There in that sash piece. Let's see if I got his legs. Yep. So he comes with one weapon, which is the pike. Brown. It's same as we always see with Tuscan Raiders. And then we have this piece on the end, done like a gunmetal. Very uh, thin. No, not as rubbery as we're used to seeing. It's a horror plastic, but still flexible. So mine's actually nice and straight. It's not bent or anything. So the hands are quite small, this guy. Hold it and just took it out of his hand. There we go. Pretty cool. Awesome. Uh, so I figure is now as of today, July 5th, 2023. I think I, I got him at Walmart for $16.97. So they are hitting retail. I was surprised when I seen him. Uh, I think it was a um, Lando, not Lando, I'm sorry, Han Solo. Uh, Darth Vader, I think it was his sixth Darth Vader. Um, a clone trooper and a LB quarry in that way. So they were all actually there. Only one I really needed was this new character. So I picked him up and left the rest for a fellow collector. So hope you guys find them. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next review.